Yo, what it do? It's your boy Mad Greed back with another one, and we got Yellow Pain on the line and Seven with My Vote Will Count. I thought it was the perfect time to do this because we need to get out here and vote for real, though. Like, we need to stop sitting aside and just letting this shit just ride out, and then when the shit don't turn out the way you want to. You want to be out here arguing and shit and mad that we got a president that you didn't want. And it's not just about the president. It's about, you know, the, the, the Senate seats, the House seats, all that shit matters, bro. So <clears throat> we're going to take a look at this video and see is this dude on point with his shit, you know, because like I, I'm most of the videos that i do i've never seen any of these artists like rap or any of their videos like yellow pain i've never watched any of this dude's stuff so i'm giving him a chance man because you know if y'all been looking at my page i'm smooth hardcore hip-hop i'm talking about real hip-hop i'm not talking about what the watered down shit we didn't have the last decade or so so yeah we go check this shit out and see what this shit's going She a little baddie, man, but uh, why this nigga just bop her like that, man? Like, damn, you don't see a motherfucker walking? You cold in a motherfucker, bro. See, that's that shit to get you boop, bop, 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 bing. It don't matter what color you is. You go get, man, you go get a, <laughs> you go with them old niggas say, you go get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> shit. He was in office for eight years, bro. Still ain't getting nothing done for it. Bro, you and me done worked at this barber shop the whole eight years, bro. They don't care about us, bro. No, that's fact, though. I really don't even remember the last time a president did something for it, to be honest. Yeah, I ain't trying to go out in that sun and vote. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know, every nigga you know, you be sitting there and niggas be talking about shit they don't know what the fuck they talking about. That's that face right there. <laughs> that is, that's definitely that face when you be sitting next to motherfuckers and you like, man, why don't you just go do some goddamn research before you start being out here having conversations about shit that you don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. Like, it's just as, it's, it's as simple as that, bro. And don't go do no little quick look over shit and then think you think you know every fucking thing, man. Like, literally open your mind and take the information in and, and better yourself. That's what I'm talking about. Like, nowadays, man, you don't got none of that shit. Like, I got a video I'm going to do next. And it's, it's, it's going to prove my point. It's going to prove my point about people don't want to look shit up look for the facts and then come to their conclusion on how they feel or how they think about a situation it's always go be a random motherfucker that do that bro they just don't want to they don't want to know the truth they just like oh i'm gonna do what i do so yeah but let's get back to this shit bro you literally don't know what you're talking about man. first thing first you know, back in middle school when they taught us it was three branches of the government, we forgot it when we got older. It's the judicial, the legislative, and executive. But all we know is the executive. That's the mayor or the governor and the president. Now, none of them three people make no laws. They just be checking them. Facts. Facts, bro. He said, already he's starting off and he's saying some real shit. It's like all facts, bro. Like, everybody be worrying about the president. But we don't worry about Congress and none of that shit. These niggas don't go and vote. Motherfuckers been sitting in the office for a decade, bro, on the Senate seat. In the House seat, bro. Like, you need to change that shit. The laws come to their desk and all they do is say no or yes to it. So when the news station tried to tell us that Barack Obama couldn't put us on, we was all Saudi at Obama when it was the Congress members out along. We got to focus on the legislative branch. Yeah, they the ones that make the laws. Yeah, they the ones right how much food stamp money you get on the car. I don't know about all that. I know they probably lost. 
Cause we ain't even know their name, we ain't know their face, we ain't know it all. So the Congress or the State House, that's legislative, they make laws. So what we want from the president is what they do, okay, y'all? See, they election every two years, but we don't never even go to those. The Congress, they can raise minimum wage, but we ain't even really know it, though. So you know how back in 08, when we all voted for Obama, we was all supposed to go back in 2010 and vote for the Congress. Basically, that's exact. Oh my God, bro! Like y'all motherfuckers so ignorant, bro. Like <clears throat> this is why fucking nigga uh, rent is so fucking high, bro. Like y'all think about voting in the president? That's gonna stop that shit. Nah, what's gonna stop the shit is you. You're gonna stop the shit by taking your ass out there and voting. Like when you gonna say, well, hey. I, I heard motherfuckers say this shit, and I don't want to call them motherfucking ignorant, bro. But this is some ignorant shit. Oh, they ain't doing nothing for me, so I ain't gonna go and vote. Uh, bruh, you live in the United States, right, bro? Like, do you pay rent every month? Then, nigga, you need to take your ass out and vote. It's not just voting for fucking... <clears throat> it's not just voting for fucking... Uh, senators and shit and all that and presidents man you gotta vote on nigga like school shit housing shit fucking doctor shit that shit you use my nigga if you go if you get hurt and you go to the doctor and you visit the emergency room that shit like a thousand dollars my nigga even if these motherfuckers don't do shit like even if they don't do shit they go go in your pocket and they go rape your motherfucking ass bro for all the paper you got my nigga for a visit not for the motherfuckers actually fixing some shit nigga a visit bro like i had to pay fucking eight hundred dollars i burnt my hand like a year and a half ago bro a grease burn that shit was bad bro i had to go up to the fucking urgent care and shit and nigga when they fixed my shit this shit was like four hundred dollars and then when i went back for a checkup that shit was like $400, bro. Like, that shit is ridiculous, man. Come on, bro. Like, man, if y'all get y'all ass out here and vote, bro. Like, for real, though, this shit is getting crazy. And y'all wonder why motherfuckers don't have no bread, bro. Like, this is why regular motherfuckers don't have no bread. Because every little fucking thing we do, they guapping your ass. And I'm talking to the white motherfuckers, too. They make under $100,000 a fucking year. You y'all motherfuckers too, man. They guapping your motherfucking ass, bro. And y'all just so fucking ignorant. Y'all don't want to see this shit. But I'm gonna get back to this motherfucker. <laughs> Cause they the ones make child support laws. They the ones choose if your kids at school get the eat steak or corn dogs. The state house make the court calls. So if the country failed, then you can't say it's them. It's your fault. Cause y'all ain't know to vote for Congress members. That was for y'all. And they don't gotta leave after four years. And we just let them sit. See, they don't wanna tell you this. They want you to focus on the president. Yeah, the they see. The judicial, that's judges. They the reason why John Crawford and Trey Vine had justice. So when Meek Mill got locked up just for popping willies, we blame the judge and not the city when they let her get voted in. Cause they ain't know who to vote against. Imagine life on the other side. Roads better, schools better. Everybody get their license back. Grocery store food better. Custody of your kids back. Homeless people get new shelters. If we gonna fix the U.S., we gotta start with them two letters. Man, I like this nigga already, bro. Like, his, his bars, he ain't trying to get real skimmy with his bars. He stands straight to the fucking point. And he fucking telling you some shit. He telling you some real message shit, bro, that you need to know about. Like, this voting shit is a big, big thing, bro. Like, literally, it's a big thing. And we got to stay on top of this shit, bro. Like, he's saying some real stuff. And, and like, when people, when, when you have artists like this, that come out and they, they, instead of them talking about the shit that the fucking, these old racist motherfuckers want us to be talking about making us seem like we animals and shit. They don't want niggas like him to be smart. They want you to be dumb. Because we in Atlanta, it, idiocracy, bro. Like, motherfuckers are stupid. If you watch that movie, you'll know what the fuck I'm talking about. When Terry Crews was president, bro, on that fucking movie, bro. Everybody, Rondo. Like, it's electrolytes and all this dumb shit, bro. Like that shit is retarded. This is the land. This is the time we living in. That people don't want to know shit, bro. They want to everything. Got they want to live off a lie, like really. <laughs> 
Somebody told us that the government want to keep us broke. But the only reason why those people in the government is because we ain't vote. And I ain't talking about the president. I'm talking about the ones we ain't know. See, they was going to try to keep it low. But it's going to hurt them when they see the polls. I know the world won't give me nothing. So I got to take it. And I know it's a way we can win. Why will nobody say it? Facts. Facts, my guy. All the way. For real, though. For real, though. Like, motherfuckers need to get out there and vote, bro. Like, it's your duty, man. As a as an American citizen, and you live if you live in America, bro, in the United States. You need to have your ass out there voting, bro. Like, I, I stay, I stay in downtown Long Beach, bro, and it's fucking. I'm telling you, it's homeless people every fucking where, cause the cost of living out here is ridiculous, bro. Like ridiculous. It's no rent control. So when you go, like, you go in the ghetto, you can find an apartment. Studio eight nine hundred, but that's still ridiculous. Like over where I'm at, man, apartments is fucking ridiculous over here, bro. Like I got a two bedroom, so you can imagine two bedrooms around this motherfucker is running like around about two grand a month, between eighteen and two grand a month to live in a fucking two bedroom apartment, bro. For to rent a two bedroom apartment. That is, it's just too much, bro. It's too much. We got to get out here and stop fucking get our thumbs out of our ass and shit, bro. Like, stop stop sitting around and shit just being random and shit. Like, we all, every single person in the United States want to be great. They want, they, want some, they want some greatness, bro. They don't want to struggle for fucking food. They don't want to struggle for money. They don't want to struggle to live. Everybody wants to live okay. So why not work to make sure everybody at least getting up? I, I'm, 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 I'm a sane thinker. I know I'm not about to get everything I want. I know I'm not about to get everything I want. Because it's not about what you want. It's about what you need, bro. And I need to survive in my home and be comfortable if so I can take care of my family. Period. And if I bust my ass every fucking day to do that, and then I'm still coming up short... It's a fucking problem. And that goes for every fucking... That's go for every race. I know white motherfuckers is going through this shit. But it's, don't blame me, man. It ain't me. I'm not the one taking the money out your fucking pocket. It's Congress and the Senate that's taking money out of your fucking pocket, bro. So, like, motherfuckers talking about, oh, the blacks and the Mexicans taking over the jobs. No, that's not what the fuck it is. They cutting this shit down because they don't want to pay your ass. These rich motherfuckers out here them that's pulling in millions and millions of dollars, they don't want to pay you, bro. So then they, 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 they depend on Trump to fucking cut the taxes so they don't give a fuck about paying you because they ain't paying the fucking taxes. So, and then if they do have to pay the taxes, they go take it out on your ass, bro. On their own employees, they go take it out on their ass. So, do what I'm telling you, bro. Go take your ass out and vote, man. Like, no matter who you are, bro. I don't care what race you are. If you go vote for Trump and, and your ends, then that's what you do. If you feel like you go do it, but you need to make sure you're making the right decision. You need to make sure you're making the right decision. Because if you go vote vote for something that is not going to benefit you, then you're going you're going to be angry about it. Don't just listen talking about oh well Trump helped black people. That is some bullshit, my nigga. That is not I shit, nigga. I I've been living the same since before fucking Obama. So shit ain't changed with me, my nigga. So all that bullshit y'all talking that's some bullshit i ain't i ain't seen no increase in my life only thing i seen increase is my motherfucking <laughs> my rent so <laughs> you feel me so all that bullshit need to stop though so yeah <laughs> but thank y'all for checking out the video with your boy bad greed and if you haven't subscribed to my page 
go ahead and do that and uh hit the notifications bell too so when i upload it you will get it and show your boy mad Grease some love because it's nothing but love and for all the new subscribers to my page that came through during the, uh my last video what was it the uh, fucking er erb i think that's what it's called erb man i'm gonna do some more of his shit man because y'all asked for it and y'all came through on that video real tough and i appreciate y'all 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 some real ones and i love y'all i'm gone I'm a fly.